Entschuldigung, ja, der Kollege Etheridge, bitte schön. Colleague Average, first of all, thank you. Thank you. That's okay, you were looking down, no problem. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to add on a little bit to the one question about the audits. Um, are we taking the zero major audit points as being fantastic, everything's really, really good, or do we think there might be room to tighten up on the audits, which I think is in addition to what the, the chair, chairman said there. Um, also, I'm, I'm really fascinated by the extent of these ca guarantees, counter-guarantees, of billions of euros of taxpayers' money working with banks and, and wholesale sort of intervention into the markets. Um, what, could I ask a bit more detail about what criteria is taken with which companies and projects are propped up? Is there a sort of uh, a version of the Dragon's Den with a, an Alan Sugar sort of going through, or, or you know, not Alan Sugar, he's the apprentice, isn't he? but you know, the, the panel going through and deciding which ones are worthy and which ones aren't, or what the criteria are. And isn't there a danger by propping up large sectors of economies in this way, that you actually distort things to such a degree that there are political implications? Um, I think what is very important, and uh, this was the statement uh, you uh, had, uh, I think it's um, very important that we de do a sustainable business, so uh, to as assess every project is part of our DNA, let's say, because, um, of course, we have to... Um, uh, take concern of state aid issues, of undertakings and difficulties, of things like that. But uh, what is very important for us is that uh, we just focus on each project by involving relevant experts from the financing business, but uh, especially from SME associations, from crafts and chambers who give statements to the project. And uh, this is very important for us. So we do not l just uh, decide like a bank, just looking at the collateral. Uh, we just do focus on the chances or the perspectives of the company in the future. So we have about 50% startups, and of course we do more focus on chances than on risks. This is our business. Um, but nevertheless, our default rates are quite low, so it's between 2 and 4% a year. And, um, of course, we have to show that this investment is a good investment for the federal state because, at the end, uh, of course, we just uh, have taxpayers' money when it's coming to default. So uh, we made one study, not we did it, but it was an external uh, study in 2010, uh, just uh, about the macro macroeconomic benefits of the guarantee uh, business. And uh, at the end, it was that one euro from taxpayers' money just uh, pays seven times back. So it was on the case of Germany, so it might not be um, transferred in every country. Um, but the main point is that the commercial bank takes uh, an own risk share, so we don't have this moral hazard problem, and that the guarantee bank by itself has a private status and took a private part. So often we have a pari passu um, approach uh, for this business. So this is the way it works and uh, we are of course interested in um, just a sustainable business. But we do not have a British member to, up to now, so we would like to have a British member of course.